So how much money does it cost to install drywall in a whole house like this? Well, that's what this video is all about. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel is all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask for in turn for making this video. Let's go to the whiteboard and break down the cost. In this drywall cost breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down the amount of material it takes to do this house I'm standing in. And this is a 3,000 square foot house with nine foot ceilings and a two car garage attached. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's go over each type of drywall and how many it took and how much it cost. So this is the four foot wide, 12 foot long material and I needed 98 sheets of that. So I got my little cheat sheet here because I got a lot of numbers I got to put here on the board. So for the regular half inch drywall, it was $1,835. So that is gonna be the start of all this. So now let's go to the next type and that's the 54 inch drywall. And since I have nine foot ceilings, you gotta use 54 inch drywall. So that way there's only one seam in the middle of the wall. So I needed 125 sheets of that and it came up to $2,835. All right, and now let's go on to the next one, the MR board. So MR board is the moisture resistant board that I put in the bathrooms. So it's the four foot wide, 12 foot long, half inch drywall. And I only needed 24 of those. So that came up with a total of $576, so not too bad there, but you don't use that in very, on very many walls in the house. And now let's go up to the next type, and that's the 5 8 inch thick fire rated drywall that goes in the garage, and this is the four foot wide, 12 foot long stuff, and only needed nine sheets of that. It only came up to $186. All right, and if you need to know about all the different types of drywall when you go to order the material for your house, check out the video in the top right hand corner of the screen. That's where I break down all the different types of drywall and what they're used for. All right, and now for all the miscellaneous items like the mud, the tape, the glue, the screws, all that, and uh, the no coat for the actual peak in the cathedral, it came up to eight or $1,700 and $18, so that wasn't too bad there. All right, so now that we got all the total numbers of the sheets, and that gives us all the material cost, and that also included the corner bead as well. And now for material, or sorry, for the material, it cost a total of $7,150. So that's to do this whole house and material. So if you were gonna do all your own work and not hire any of it out, that is all the money you would have into drywalling this whole house. Of course, it's gonna take you probably at least a month, month and a half of labor if you're doing it a lot of it by yourself or hiring help or getting your own uh, drywall lift and doing it yourself. But if you get a drywall lift, you gotta consider that in part of the material cost at that point, so. But I always hire out the drywall of finishing and hanging just because by the time it takes me to learn how to do all the finishing, I could have just hired it out and got it done. So unless you're gonna be doing a lot of drywall, for me, it's really not worth the time and uh, learning how to do the whole house. I can do patchwork, stuff like that, simple stuff, and I could probably do a whole room. But as far as a whole house, I always hire it out. All right, so let's jump to the labor costs. So in my area, I got three quotes before I hired the person that I did to do the hanging and finishing. So the quotes came into a range anywhere from $25 a sheet up to $34 a sheet. So depending on your area, it's gonna be um, what determines how much the labor cost is. So in my area, I'm in more of a rural area, so it's gonna be cheaper than somebody around a big city. So just keep that in mind when you're getting quotes, just be expecting a higher number than what I'm showing you here than if you live in a bigger city. And also um, labor right now seems to be more expensive and inflation and all this has been going up. So, you know, the price I'm showing you here now, even in my area might change by next year. So just keep all that in mind when I show you this labor cost and even for the material for all that matter, um, material fluctuates too, especially wood right now it's really went up really high in this past year and it's finally come back down some so you know just keep all this in mind this is just for reference 
And now for labor cost, I got the, uh, the actual quote for $25 a sheet. So if I add all these sheets up, the fire rated, the MR board, the regular, and the uh, 54 inch drywall, it gave me um, 100 and, or 250 some sheets. I think it was 256 sheets. So that gave me a total cost of $6,400. So the grand total for everything came up to $13,550 to do this whole 3,000 square foot house with a two car garage. And I just wanted to point out, if you didn't notice, um, there's an old saying, material and labor are about the same. So if you get a quote, uh, quote to build your house for 100,000, if you hired out the labor, you're probably looking at another 100,000. So if you take a look here, that is about uh, what's going on here as well. So material and labor is really close to the same. So this number here might be totally different than what's in your area. So definitely be sure to get quotes. Um, and if you're wondering where the my material came from for this house, it came from this company called Capital Building Supply. And the reason why I went with them is because they actually deliver the material, all the drywall, everything into your house and you don't have to touch it. So if you order it from Lowe's or Home Depot, they deliver it curbside, then you, the customer, will have to carry it in. And I've done that a couple times before, but I don't want any parts of that anymore. So these prices might be a little more than what you'd pay at a Lowe's or Home Depot, but trust me, it's worth every penny, especially if you're working by yourself a lot. So, all right guys, that's all there was to the breakdown of how much drywall costs. I hope it helped you out as far as knowing how much to expect when you're building your own house. And again, my name's Josh, this channel's all about building your own house. Be sure to subscribe. Ring the bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask for return for making this video. And be sure to check out my Amazon store. The link is in the description below. If you make a purchase through it, I get a small commission, but it's at no extra cost to you. And I appreciate it. It helps support the channel. All right, guys, I got a lot of work I need to get done here. So I need to get off here. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. In this video, I'm going to be going over the cost to install drywall in the in a house and this is going to include everything the house with the two gar owl mud and for material and drywall mud to the actual sheets down the cost that it all right so i needed fit house and the end the house that i'm 54 inch to the MR board.